Welcome to our intermediate program. This will go for approximately 20 minutes. The only equipment you'll need is a sturdy chair and ensure the space around you is clear of any objects. Place this chair up against a wall or in front of a bench, rail or table for extra support. This video will guide you through each movement of the exercise and we will give you some tips and tricks to help you use the right muscles at their optimal capacity. It is recommended that you have completed the beginner program before commencing the intermediate one so that you can learn more about the movements of the exercises and how to perform them correctly. Before commencing an exercise program, seek advice from your general practitioner or healthcare professional. If you start to feel discomfort or pain when performing an exercise, try to reduce the intensity or cease the exercise. These videos do not aim to replace any advice you have received from a healthcare or exercise professional. Our first exercise is going to mimic the movement that we do day in, day out. So sit on the front half of your chair seat. Your knees should be bent at a 90 degree angle and feet flat on the floor. We're going to engage our abdominal muscles and start to lean forward slightly at our hips. If you require some stability when standing from a chair, you can gently place your hands on the bench, rail, frame, or armrest of the chair to assist you to stand up. Press through your heels to raise your body to a standing position, squeezing your bottom cheeks together when standing up. We're going to reverse the movement by sticking your bottom out towards the chair, bending your knees and slowly lowering down until you tap your bottom on the end of the chair. We're going to perform this exercise for a total of 10 times. Let's go. Remember to try and keep your back nice and straight as you're standing up and slowly coming back down again. Great work. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're going to perform the chair squat exercise another 10 times. Let's go. Remember, you wanna try and keep your chin up and facing forward throughout the entire movement. Keep your back nice and straight by engaging those core muscles as you're standing up and slowly sitting back down again. Great work. The second exercise is called leg extension. For this exercise, stay seated on your chair, but wriggle down towards the edge until your bottom is almost off the chair. This is your starting position. Your knees should be bent at a 90 degree angle and your feet flat on the floor at shoulder width apart. Place your hands on each side of the chair seat. Don't hold too tight, but just enough so you feel stable. Keep your upper body still, head up and facing forward, straight back. Lift your foot just off the floor while you extend and straighten your right leg, where your knee should be straight at the top position, squeezing the muscle at the top of your leg. Hold for a second and then return your foot back to the ground with your knee in its bent position. You should feel a slight squeeze and burn sensation in the muscle at the top of your leg as you're doing this exercise. We're going to perform the leg extension exercise 10 times on your right leg, then switch over to our left leg for another 10 times. Let's go.
Now we're going to switch over to our left leg. Remember, when you're extending your leg out, squeeze the muscle at the top of your leg. Great, let's have 30 seconds of rest and we're going to then perform the exercise another 10 times on our right side, then another 10 times on our left side. Let's go, 10 times on our right side. Great work. Now let's switch over to our left leg. Ensure you're trying to feel the squeeze on the top of your leg. This is your thigh muscles. We've got another few reps to go. We're now going to get up and work the muscles of our hips. So we're going to stand behind our chair, frame or bench with feet hip width apart and knees slightly bent. Lightly grip the chair back, frame or bench. Flex your right foot and raise your right leg directly out to the side. Remember, it doesn't matter how high your leg can go, just focus on not moving your upper body. Keep your shoulders over your hips throughout the movement. Pause for a second once you've reached the highest point, then slowly lower your leg, tapping your heel to the floor. We're going to repeat this 10 times on our right side, then we'll switch over to perform this for another 10 times on our left. Let's go. Remember to keep your back nice and straight by engaging your core muscles. Great work, let's head over to our left side. Try not to let your hips tilt downwards when lifting your leg out to the side. Great. Let's have 30 seconds of rest and then we're going to perform this exercise another 10 times on our right side, then switch over to perform it another 10 times on our left. Let's go. 
Try to remember to keep your back nice and straight by engaging your core muscles. Let's switch over to our left side. Don't let your hips tilt downwards when you're lifting your leg out to the side. Great work. We're now going to move on to working the muscles of the upper body. This exercise is called shoulder flexion. Standing with your legs hip width apart, knees slightly bent and core tight. Roll your shoulders back and down, keeping the arms to the side of the body, letting them hang naturally. And if you can, have both palms facing toward the body. Keeping the arms straight and the palms facing you, move your arms up and out in front of your body. Stop the motion when your arms are at shoulder height. Proceed to slowly return to the starting position. Repeat for a total of 10 times. Great work. Now let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're now going to perform the shoulder flexion exercise another 10 times. Let's go. Remember to keep your back nice and straight and engage your core muscles as you bring your arms up and back down again. Great work. This exercise is called shoulder abduction, meaning we're taking the arms away from the body. So stay standing with your legs hip width apart, your knees slightly bent, keeping your core, which is your abs and your lower back muscles nice and tight. Roll your shoulders back and down, keeping the arms to the side of the body, letting them hang naturally. And if you can, have both palms facing toward the body. 
Keeping your arms straight and the palms in their facing position, continue to move the arms up and out to the side of the body. Stop the motion when your arms are at shoulder height. Proceed to slowly return to the starting position. We're going to repeat this for a total of 10 times. Let's go. Remember, we don't want to let our shoulders rise towards our ears as we're moving our arms out to the side of our body and back in again. Well done. Let's have 30 seconds of rest. We're now going to perform the shoulder abduction exercise another 10 times. Let's go. Try and keep your back nice and straight and don't let your shoulders rise towards your ears as you bring your arms out to the side of your body and back down again. Great work. Stay in our standing position with our legs at hip width apart and our knees slightly bent, keeping that core tight and sticking your chest out. Keep both arms to the sides of your body, letting them hang naturally. And if you can, have both palms facing forward. Try to keep those elbows tucked in to the sides of your body. Move both forearms in a curling motion from the sides of the body to the front of the shoulders while keeping tension in your bicep muscle. Slowly lower both forearms back to the starting position. We're going to repeat the bicep curl exercise for a total of 10 times. Let's go. Remember, keep that back nice and straight and you don't want to let your elbows leave the side of your body. Let's have 30 seconds of rest and then perform the bicep curl exercise another 10 times. Let's go. Try and keep your back nice and straight and you really want to keep that tension when you're curling your arms up and back down again. Well done, you just completed the intermediate program. If you wanna work a little harder, let's move on to our advanced program. 